In this video, I'm exploring how I can start a brand new YouTube channel, get views, subscribers, and begin making money without even being monetized. Let me explain. Using this continuously trending feature from YouTube, called YouTube Shorts, if you simply search for any topic like Shorts plus Motivation, you will find some videos in the first set of results that has a lot of views, yet not as much subscribers. So that means that this channel here was able to rank in the top 10 competing with channels that is big as Motiversity that has 2.74 million subscribers. Now this one up here only has 24,000 subscribers, which I bet a whole lot of those subscribers was from this video. Not convinced yet? Well, check this out. Let's say you search for hashtag shorts plus cities. Their channels here, for example, this one that is from just four months ago, got 3.1 million views. There's seven months ago on this channel here that has 31,000 subscribers now, but they got 1.3 million views on this video. And according to some of these videos where people share their analytics, you'll see that even though these shorts took such probably a little time to make, and of course less than a minute long, they were able to generate a lot of subscribers. And that 2,000 subscribers is just from this one person's video that seemed to take off. Now keep in mind this would mean more viewers on future videos that this channel puts out. When deciding the topic and the types of shorts that we're going to create, let's see what works. Just make sure that you like this video first and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's the most important thing to do. Otherwise it just don't work, so make sure that you do that. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Finding what works, start typing shorts, space then plus. And you'll see all the different suggestions here and this is search predictions. It's based on what people are already searching for. Space and then just go through the alphabet like press E, see what shows up here. Try B, C. And you can just continue this until you find something that makes sense for you. I decided to try the suggestion Shorts Plus Cities, which to me seems like an untapped niche. As you can see here, four days ago, 40,000 views. Not that much subscribers for that. Four months ago, under 100,000 subscribers, but 3.1 million views. As well as this other channel here that is only 12,000 subscribers, but 48,000 views on this video. And these are the top three results. So what I would do next is look at some of these videos to get ideas. Of course, not to do the exact same thing, but use it for inspiration. Because of course, it makes sense to build on what already works. After taking a look at all of these, I've decided that I'm going to try recreating a similar video to this one, especially since it was just a few months ago and got this amount of views. Is then versus now. Except I'll be giving a little bit more value from what that video has to offer, which is pretty much a before photo and then an after photo with some music playing in the background. Yeah, that's it. Again, 3.1 million views. Now that I have an idea of what the video is going to be about, next I'll be getting the video script, but it's going to be a really short one with a few cities and like a sentence under each one. I mean, it's like 60 seconds or less. How much words do you really expect to be in there, right? To get content for a similar video like this one, which is cities then versus now, I'll just head over to Google and start typing famous cities. And as I start typing then, you would see in the search suggestions here. Here it is, famous cities then and now. Click that. So this is a good sign as well because people are actually searching for it. And if you just click the first result here, you'd see that they have a before photo and an after photo. Each of the different countries that they're talking about, of course. And I am not, and I don't suggest you just save the photos that you find in an article here. However, I am going to use Dubai as a then and now photo. I'll just search for Dubai like 1970 and just save one of these images here that is good enough quality and then search for Dubai 2022. It images and save one of these new photos, which looks way more advanced than the previous photo. Then simply repeat that process for all of the other countries that are in that list. Also be sure to save all of your photos in one folder. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. And this is for easy way of finding all of the photos and you'll see why in a second. And for the written on-screen text or perhaps a simple voiceover, get a tourist related fact by simply typing tourist facts. Now this is because we will be using this information to get people to click on the links, the links that would be inside of your YouTube description of your video, which would make you money. Wait a minute, we didn't speak about that as yet, did we? But we will in a little bit. Let's just finish this up. So in the first result here, there's a snippet about Dubai welcomes almost a million overnight visitors in January 2022. You can just grab this right here and that's it. I mean, you could look further and get more information. I find that much easier to do to just take the first thing. 
it's easier. And what I'm going to do next is repeat this process for the other countries that I have in the list for that YouTube short. And once you save all the information that you need in a Google Doc or anywhere easily accessible, the next thing to do is to actually make the video. And we're gonna do that almost automatically with very little video editing. And to do that, use the link that I have in the description, the first link, which is a pro trial of canva.com, where you get access to all of the features, all of the templates, a lot of stock photos, videos, audio files for a full month. So once you've signed up, log in, and this is how it looks. Now there are a lot of templates in Canva, but to navigate to what we really need to use it for now, come up here and hit create a design and search for YouTube and you'll see shorts right here. Hit that. And as you see on the left hand side here, all of the dining and animation is basically done for you already. You just need to pick one of them and put in your information, the content that is relevant to your video. What I'll do is simply just pick this one. Just hit this first one here to add it to your timeline. And look how easy this is to edit. Up five, I'm gonna call this cities, then versus now. This is aimed at playing for five seconds, which we don't want it to be that long. So, so it's just a matter of clicking in front of here and dragging it lower down. And that looks good so far. What I'll do next is hit upload and grab all of the photos that I placed in one folder. Here are two of the photos. I'll take this one and drag it right here, which is for the then, and then I'll take the one for the now, the future one, and drop it onto the timeline as well. All right, only the amount of time spent on each one. Maybe a little bit longer for the new version. Add some text. Grab one of these templates here, maybe this one. Here it is. Call this then. Come over to the new version now. Probably put through something a little bit brighter. Maybe this. Drop this on the top. Well, we don't want now written so many times. Call this one now. And to animate it, it's just a matter of simply clicking the wood, hitting animate, and choosing a style of animation over here. I like this one, rise. And I will choose it for the first one as well. So for the then, we let that one wipe across the screen, especially since it's supposed to be older, so it's like an older effect. And of course, you can choose whichever one you want. With the pro plan, you have access to more audio files here. So what we'll do is pick a sad song for the then, because it is a quite depressing photo, right? Let's find based on the mood, and there are suggestions at the top here. There you go, sad. Let's choose any one of these sad songs. Just take that and drag that. And then now for the happy one, we'll just hit happy. <laughs> and I'll pull in this song right here. You can cut out the beginning of the song by simply clicking and dragging as well. Pulling it across. It's really simple to use. Now to get that tourist fact on the screen, you can simply come over here to the tourist facts. I'll highlight that one line here. Copy it. Come back over to Canva. Choose text, then select, add a little bit of body text. Maybe you can just move it right here and simply paste the information you just copied. Move this around, maybe make it bold, and then choose to animate this one as well. And perhaps you want this one to come up a little bit slower so we can see like the typewriter effect. And that's it for that first part of the video. Let's see how that looks and sounds so far. Like a circle that floats around me. That's it, you're basically done. But what I would go ahead and do is repeat the process for the other countries or cities that is part of that list for the YouTube short. And it's a personal preference if you want to have the text on the screen like here. Or you can simply use a voice recording app on your phone and just say the line. Or maybe have both of them, the text on your screen and your voice. So once you finish with your video and you're happy with what you're seeing and hearing, come up to here and hit the download button. There it is and choose mp4 as suggested. But with the link that I have in the description, the first link you have access to all of these things, all of these features, photos, videos, and of course, all of these audio files that you can use to make your YouTube shorts. Once you have your video, the next thing is to come over to YouTube, create, and then upload your video. In giving it a title, I won't stray too much from these titles, especially since these did really well. Don't forget to put hashtag shorts at the ending. Now surely that this may have a decent CPM, meaning for every thousand views, the amount of money that you'll make for that. However, you don't get monetized overnight on YouTube, as you may already know. But for me, I still wanna try and make money from day one with this. What I found to be the best way of doing that is with affiliate marketing. One way of thinking about it is after somebody looks at a video like this of Dubai then versus now, a percentage of the people who would look at that video may actually be interested in traveling to there or share it with somebody else who's interested in traveling to there. And how convenient would it be if somebody who looks at that video 
click in, into the description like you suggest. And when they go into the description, there's a link. And when they click it, it then takes them to a site called booking.com where they can book their trip to Dubai. Pay for flights, hotel accommodations, everything right here. And when they decide to check out to actually pay, you get a commission of that sale because it was through your affiliate link. Alternatively, there's CPA marketing, where if they just click a link or fill out a form, make a phone call, you can get paid for them taking that action. Where well, I found offers like that over on Max Bounty, which of course you have to register and it takes a little time to get approved. But once you do, you get access to all of these different programs, as well as on offervol.com, where you can see here if somebody books a flight, your payout is $25. And this one here for flight calls, if somebody calls about a flight, you can also get paid $24. And it varies based on the company and based on the program. And that is how we could start making money with this, even as a brand new channel, once you start getting some views. Now for the final step, you can make money from YouTube ad revenue in addition to that affiliate income. However, the YouTube Shorts will help with the subscriber requirement of that 1,000 subscribers, but it won't help with that 4,000 watch hours requirement, which is needed for you to apply for YouTube monetization. Now the aim of this is to get a lot of subscribers and returning viewers for your future videos. And that will be really useful when you start putting out the longer form videos, which is what you need to rack up that watch time faster so that you can quickly meet the requirements and apply for the YouTube Partner Program. And I go through that in this video next.